In this video, I'm going to show you how to browse the internet right from within your terminal window using something called W3M. Now, W3M is a text-based browser, web browser, I should say, and it'll allow you to view web pages, just the HTML of web pages, no JavaScript, CSS, or pictures or anything like that, just the text that exists on a web page you can see with the W3M browser. And I'm going to give you a brief overview of that just to get you started up and running with it. So let's go ahead and try that out. This will work on pretty much a lot of a lot of Linux systems. I can't say all of them, but I'm um, using Ubuntu here. And what we want to do is first install that package. So that's apt install, just like I said, W3M. And I already have it on my system, so there's nothing for me to do, but go ahead and get that. And then let's go to our first web page. It's really easy, W3M, then the name of the page that you want to go to. So we will go to good old google.com. Now, like I said, this is just text, okay? So you got your tabs at the top here, and I can't click anything, I'm just showing you with my mouse. The search um, form in the middle with the search button and the I'm feeling lucky button, advanced search, and then the footer at the bottom. So to navigate, you can either use your arrow keys or if you want to go to the next, like, uh, I forget what, like the next highlightable element, you can use the tab key and that'll take you directly to the search box. Now to enter text, you can hit the enter key and then down here at the bottom, you'll see it says text that you want to enter into that text box. I'm going to say, what time is it in London? So I'll hit enter to apply that to the text box. And then I'll use my tab key to go to the next element, which is the search. Uh, button right here and then to select that button I can hit enter that'll actually go do the Google search return the page and again it's a text based page you got your little snippet up here that says London UK local time 7 23 p.m. on Friday November 19th 2021 so <laughs> if you didn't notice um, or if you didn't know this I record a lot of my videos way ahead of time and then publish them uh, on a schedule Tuesdays Thursdays uh, in the future. So that's why that's probably a lot different from what you're seeing right now. Um, let's do another search. Let's, uh, again, I'm going to use either the arrow keys or the tab key to get to the next element. And then if I want to change it, same thing, hit enter to select that box. Now we can either backspace or we can use the shortcut um, control U to just clear that out. And then we'll search for Tony teaches, teaches tech. Hit enter, tab over to the search button, hit enter. So there's a little bit of a learning curve, but once you get the hang of it, it's actually pretty handy to, to navigate through these pages. Um, so here's all the search results. We got my, my website, my YouTube channel, another YouTube channel link. Um, and if you, you, can, you can use the arrow keys again, or you can use the page down to go down to the next page. Um, so you got some, some more stuff. Tony teaches tech net worth in 2021. Let's see what that's all about. So I went too far there, tab, tab, went down two tabs. If you want to go back to the previous one, you can do shift tab, shift tab, and then hit enter the one you're interested in. So that should open up that page in just a second. And whoops, I went too far. So how do we go back to go back? is simply um, shift B and now we're on the previous page. So let's go explore this page. I have 1.17 million views, 12,000 subs. This seems it'll be a little bit out of date. Um, the net worth of Tony Teaches Tech's channel through November 19th, 2021 is $7,534. That is not accurate. Uh, maybe we'll save what that actual value is for another video. Um, but let's continue on with this tutorial. So let's go to um, let's go to a specific URL, and we can do that by typing Shift U, and you'll see that shows up the current URL. We can clear that out again with Control U, and let's go to WordPress.org. WordPress.org. Okay. Go ahead, type that in, hit enter. And this is wordpress.org's website. So say we want to find something specific on this web page. Uh, you can do that if you're familiar with Vim. Uh, you can do that with just typing slash 
and I'm gonna look for, I, I see it right there, but I'm gonna look for the percent sign, hit enter, and there you go, it finds that percent. So 42% of the web uses WordPress, which is a really cool uh, fact. That's that's crazy, almost half the, the web uses WordPress. Um, you can also use multiple tabs in this web browser. So in order to open up a new tab, do Shift T, and now you'll see that uh, pretty much copies the tab that we were on. So this right here is the, the first tab, and this right here is the second tab. So in the second tab, um, let's go to something new. Let's go to, let's use Control U, uh, I'm sorry, Shift U, capital U, to go to a specific URL. Let's go to duckduckgo.com. Now you can see clearly that we have two tabs open, and if we want to switch between the two tabs, we can do Shift Open Bracket to go to this tab right here, to the left, and Shift Close Bracket to go to the tab on the right. So let's let's do a quick uh, search on DuckDuckGo. So we'll tab down in there, hit Enter, type in like, comment, subscribe, hit Enter to apply that text. I typed lick, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll do the search anyway, hit enter, and now uh, we are on the search results here. Let's say we want to go back to the previous page because we, we realized that we misspelled it. So, or, you know, we actually have the option of changing here, but let's, to show you how to go back, you can go back a page with shift B. Okay, and that'll go back to the previous page. Um, if we wanted to get out of DuckDuck, or if we want to go out of W3M altogether, simply type Q, and it says, do you want to exit W3M? Yes or no, I'm going to type Y, and that takes you back to your terminal window. Uh, let's go back through. It'll it'll have a fresh session for you, no tabs or anything like that. But you can still see your search history uh, by typing in Control H, and that'll show all the, the, uh, the websites that we have been to. And if you need help in general with the W3M text-based browser, from any page, you can just type capital H, and that'll go through all of the navigation commands that you need to know about. But hopefully the ones that I gave you in this video are helpful to you to just get you up and running with it. Thank you guys for watching. Check out some of my other videos, and if you do, I will see you in the next one.